Today I'm going to talk to you about creativity and ICT. Historically, creativity has been seen as a mystical process, the province of geniuses, artists and eccentrics. But nowadays, creativity is more widely understood and appreciated. You don't have to be excellent at playing a musical instrument or great at drawing. But with the children of today being digital natives, computers and new technology provide the opportunity for every child to be creative, making it easier to excel in areas that they would normally find difficult. Programmes such as SketchUp and GarageBand allow children to become these artists and musicians. So how do we foster this creativity? According to Arthur and Kremen, around the age of eight, the opinions of others begin to become increasingly important to children. So it is essential that we begin to develop creativity at an early age. In the same way that we have seen a move from the blackboard to the more creative and engaging interactive whiteboard, we must adapt our teaching across all forms of ICT to make it more creative. In his book, Using ICT Creatively in the Primary Classroom, Woods states that motivation comes from teachers making learning relevant. If pupils see the value of their learning, they are more likely to become engaged in it. Similarly, cognitive theorists argue that children are motivated by a personal desire to find out and satisfy their curiosity. With the dominance of technology in today's society, a digital age, ICT provides a great opportunity for teachers to motivate pupils to engage in creative and exciting learning. Children can find meaning and purpose in learning through ICT due to their dependence on technological appliances. E-learning refers to the use of these electronic appliances in education. The development of e-learning has been seen as the solution for not only motivating pupils, but improving performance, speed, flexibility, collaboration, interactivity, thinking skills and independence, all of which share parallels with creative learning and behaviour. According to the government's e-learning strategy in 2005, ICT provides more ways to learn, more subjects to choose from, more flexible study, a personal online learning space and easier ways to try things out. The latter idea of trying things out and experimentation is succinct with the constructivist approach to creative and engaging learning. Grigg believes that e-learning allows pupils to work any time, any place, any path and any pace. This flexibility allows children to think of ideas and quickly note them down whenever and wherever they want to. This falls in line with the natural and spontaneous process of creative thought. ICT increases the speed of the creative process, enabling the creative development in the digital medium to keep pace with the thinking and process of having ideas, ideation. Creative individuals often generate ideas rapidly when they are at the peak of their creativity, what some educationalists describe as being in the flow, meaning the creative flow of new ideas. The facility of editing on a computer means children can undo and delete any inoperable ideas. This helps to remove a fear of failure, not only impacting on the learner's self-esteem, but giving children the creative confidence to explore and take risks. Talboys claims that the use of ICT gives opportunities for learning through failure and learning to deal with failure. It provides an archive of decisions taken so that failure is not so serious and wasteful of time and resources. The internet also promotes creativity in the primary classroom. Heppel describes the internet as the digital housepipe pumping content into classrooms. According to Elston, we are part of a generation for whom Google has become a verb rather than a website. Professor Ken Robinson emphasised the importance of the internet as a means of creative expression, for communicating ideas and meaning. The internet has increasingly become the primary means of both gaining and sharing information. We can now learn from others' creative ideas and share our own at the click of a mouse. Websites such as Wiki provide the ideal means to do this. To conclude, Ofsted describe good ICT practice as imaginative and creative.